people, what we think of them. They're trying to rob ordinary working people, deprive their families, so their families can grow richer. That's what we think of them. They're a shower of rats. And we're going to show those rats tonight that we're fighting back and we're not leaving. Welcome to the Grovna. Now, quite clearly arriving from the, uh, around the back of the building. So we need to get people around the back of the building with flags and a good strong presence of both sides. Come and see these people having their dinner. Ian Tyler, about the beat. You should you ask him to come out? We were there. BCA people. Please. They do sell one. So this is about... This is a message, I don't know if you know, the policeman is in the front here talking to people like us, the, co the coppers. If they want to talk about anyone breaking the law, go inside that hotel tonight. tonight. There are people in there that are trying to take people's livelihoods away from them. There are, there are people in there that have their hands in the pockets of electricians up and down the country and are trying to steal 35% of their wages. So if you want to talk about anyone breaking the law, Mr. Policeman, go in there and talk to the bosses of the big electrical companies that are trying to break workers in this country. It's not just the bankers that will break this economy, it's the people in there as well. They're the ones that we get the kickbacks, they're the ones that we get the PFI contracts, they're the ones that have their stoops in the trough for decades and decades. Lane, 
Keep moving back. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Keep moving, please. Move back, please. Move back, please, sir. Right, we'll have a democratic vote on it. We've done one everyone arrested. We've done the shut West London down for an hour. We won't move because of the police. So we'll move it with vote on it. This is a peaceful protest. They phoned me today and said, um, this is a, a breakaway group. That's how they see it. And I don't want anyone working on London Underground or any other mayoral project that hasn't got the sort of skilled workforce that we've had up until now. They will also put Londoners' lives at risk. I wouldn't have a firm like that working. <laughs> another entrance down there where uh, some of the black tie people are going in. The police don't want us here, so should we go and have a look at that entrance? Let's go and have a look. Go on, on you go. Arrest bar for beating! Arrest bar for beating! Arrest bar for beating! running high but we can't afford to relax it's been a hard struggle up until now like yourself I've been out here six seven months now doing this we've just got to keep going take the momentum and show the, the, the sparks who you know who might have been doubting that we could have done anything that we can actually do so we have got a bit of power and with the union behind us we can achieve we've got to get rank and file members up to the table to negotiate that's the only way we're going to get in it we've got to have a list of demands or we've got to draw up something that we're happy with. Half of us don't even get to see our families <coughs> and they think what well, people think we're on massive amount of money. The thing is people who go, go to work in offices and all that get to go home at five o'clock. We're still there at six, seven o'clock at night trying to earn an half decent wage. <coughs> you, you do all these years in this industry just be treated like a tow rag. It's, it ain't right. He's working weekends as well. We have to work every weekend. Every weekend I've got work. You know? I've got to work every single weekend. Doing and I'm told I get two days off during the week. 
Yeah, we're doing, we're doing 13 hours. Does that suit me? I'm a family man. I've got kids. 10 hour shifts. 13 hours, 40 nights. 10 hour shifts. You get home at 6 o'clock in the morning. That's 10 hours early. By the time your missus and kids get home from work, you're on your way out the door again. I don't see why, say, a project engineer should be on 50 grand a year when, let's be brutally frank, they cock up every job they run. It's basically people on the deck who fin finish your jobs and sort them out. Reasonable working hours, stop the casualisation, stop being able to be sacked at the drop of a hat, you know. I'm sick of having to pay money to get my own wages off of agencies who are making money off my back on an hourly rate and then charging me to get my own wages. I mean, it doesn't happen in any other industry that I know about, so... You know, we, need to, we need to look at the industry as a whole and, and work out where it's been going wrong over the last 10, 15 years.